What's up, guys? Welcome back to a- another video. Very glad that you are here. Today, we're going to talk about an amazing, very powerful skill and practice that, in my humble opinion, is the true baseline for self improvement, achieving things that you want in life, really in any area. And I know probably a lot of people say that whatever, I'm not worried about what other people say. Anyways, what we're talking about today, the skill I'm referring to is learning to check yourself. Learning to check yourself. And this is very multi-layered when I talk about checking yourself. So let's let's talk about it and just start from a base definition. So have you ever heard that song by Ice Cube? You gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. Chickity check yourself. Yeah, I know you know what I'm talking about. So that's what this is about. And it really says all you need to know in that one lyric from the song, check yourself before you wreck yourself. So let's just look at it from that standpoint. What does that mean exactly? Just that line, that one line from that one song. Well, we are programmed in a lot of ways, consciously and unconsciously to self-sabotage ourselves. So do you have the ability to practice and learn this skill to check yourself? And there's a lot of ways in which we need to check ourselves. First of all, are you able to catch your negative thought patterns? So when you're having a bad day, you're really having a bad day because you are putting negative definitions on what is happening in your life. So let's use an example. You had a bad day. Uh, you woke up and you slept like crap and you have a presentation at work and you got to get the kids to school and your car didn't start. And so your car didn't start. You had to call an Uber, which is a pain in the butt to get the kids to school. You drop them off to school. Now you don't have your car to go to work and you had to run an extra errand. So you're basically just burning some extra money, getting rides around town. You show up late to work. You're all stressed out. Your presentation, right? You do your presentation it doesn't go as smoothly as you like because you're on low sleep, you've been stressed out and you weren't able to get grounded and focused and your boss gives you negative feedback and says, man, that was not what I expected, you know, blah, blah, blah. You pick the kids up, you know, you go home. Uh, now all of a sudden the oven won't work for some reason when you're trying to, you know, make dinner for your family and your kids. So now you're sitting here, hold on one second. I got my sister trying to FaceTime me. I'll call her back after this. So now you've had this bad day and you're like, oh my God, I'm so sick of this. I'm so stressed out at work life. Oh, uh, it's so bad. You know, the situation, you just start to go on these negative thought cycles and these thought patterns. Now, how can you learn to check yourself? What does that mean? What's the value of it in this particular situation? Well, first of all, what are the definitions, the meaning that you're giving to these events in your life? So are you looking at your life as in, oh, what was me? I'm so stressed out because I can't sleep. And, you know, my boss hates me. I screwed up on that presentation. I don't even like this job. Oh my God, is my, you know, you start going on these negative thought patterns, right? You're starting to create negative definitions and meanings around these, albeit undesired circumstances and situations. But it's really your definition that is creating the bad feeling. Again, it's how you're viewing it, how you're viewing this perspective change. So another way to look at it is there's the negative context, right? Man, I can't sleep because I'm so stressed out, but I need to do this presentation. But then I don't even like it. I don't even know if I'm doing good at work. Um, man, now I got to worry about my car. So you can say and look at it from a perspective of, oh man, this is, you know, so many bad things happening to me in my life. Or are you willing to check yourself and realize the negative definitions and the thought patterns that you're creating around these events. So you can view it as, oh, you know, this man, I don't like my job. My health is going downhill. I'm trying to take care of my kids. Uh, my partner doesn't really participate in helping me take care of the kids. Like, what am I doing? So that's one way of thinking of it. Or are you willing to check yourself and reframe your negative thought patterns first and foremost and say, okay, these, this is life these are inevitable things that are going to happen in life and they're presenting themselves in ways that I don't like. So, okay, what do I need to do to change this? What is this showing me? What is this teaching me? Well, it's showing me first and foremost that the source of all this is me and that I need to handle my sleep better, 
get off my phone, make sure I'm in bed so I'm prepared for my presentation. How do I go about changing my job? I haven't liked this one after bombing this presentation. It's really showed me that I don't even like doing this work anyways. Even if I did do a good job, I don't wanna be here. So now it's directing you and you're, it's forcing you to expand your consciousness and awareness to shift your focus and perspective from, oh man, you know, my life sucks, this is all bad, this is all happening to me, I hate all this stuff, to a place of, this has been such a big blessing because this really bad day was the final straw that I needed to make me realize that I need to make some changes in my life. I don't wanna work for other people now, I wanna work for my, myself. My kids are very important to me, but I don't even have time or money to spend with them like I want. So man, something's gotta give. So now, learning to check yourself and by checking yourself meaning catching your negative thought patterns it's allowed you to understand from a different perspective how you've been going about things but being able to check yourself has given you the perspective now that oh the silver lining is this is pointing me towards what i do want for my life by showing me what i don't want for my life so this skill is so powerful it's a skill it's a practice being able to reframe your own mind and your own perspective how do you talk to yourself and view the world? How do you view your own behaviors and your part, the role that you play and the life that you're living? Is it like, oh, the world is all against me, man. Oh, this is the end of days. This is the doomsday time. Life is so bad. If that's what you think, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but understand that's the reality you're creating in your mind because we're both living on planet Earth, but my life certainly isn't like that. But it's not like it's not like that or I don't have difficulties, is that I choose to use this skill of reframing and checking myself about my negative thought patterns and my negative behaviors, the way I respond to certain different situations and I use them all to empower me. This situation is, in other words, this situation is a situation that I don't want in my life. So how can I use this to reframe it in a positive perspective? or see the silver lining, and what is it pointing me towards what I do want? So learning to take an inventory, examine yourself, reframe your thought patterns, your cycles, your negative behaviors in a different way, and being able to utilize the negative situations in our life and reframe them from a different perspective in order to fuel us to move forward in the direction that we do, this skill is so invaluable and so powerful because it's not that you won't have quote unquote bad days, but when you do have bad days or challenging circumstances, you'll no longer feel like a victim and powerless. You'll start to use them, again, that's what this skill and practice is, as a way to point you towards what you do want. In other words, transmute that negative energy and situation and use it, transmute that energy, alchemy, into a positive force and say, man, okay, that sucked. Okay, so if that sucked, that's clearly what I don't want. Okay, if that's what I don't want, I am so sick of this, I'm gonna freaking use all my time and power and energy to create what I do want so that I can work for myself and I don't have to worry about being stressed out about a presentation. So I have more time to spend with my kids and work for myself and I'll probably make more money because it'll be doing something that I like. I'll be my own boss and I can also take better care of my health so I can get better sleep. I can start eating better too. I can get into bed earlier. I don't have to wake up at a certain set time other than maybe, you know, whatever, handling the kids using this same example uh, and, and taking care of them for what we need to do with them. So the skill that I'm referring to and what you can do, which will make you so powerful, is using the negative and reframing that negative situation and circumstance and using it as a positive driving force. And the way, again, that it, you're using it as a positive driving force is by experiencing what you don't want. You're gonna say, man, I'm so sick of this, I'm over it. I don't want this anymore. You've had enough of what you don't want that is pushing you towards what you do want. That is the skill I'm referring to. That is the practice. And now let's be clear again, don't take this out of contents. I'm not saying it's all sunshine and rainbows and something happens and you immediately go, oh, you know, it's all whatever. Uh, uh. In other words, uh, I believe the term is like false positivity or fake pos positivity. You're like, oh, well, this happened, whatever. I'm just gonna be positive about it. No, process and digest the emotions, the feelings, that energy experience it understand what's going on because you need that and then after you've experienced it you allow that energy to move through you you will then gain the clarity and the perspective of well what's the silver lining here but don't just sweep it under the rug i'm not saying do that 
I'm saying use that negative energy, experience it, feel it, be upset, be angry, be sad, uh, experience the grief. Don't run away from the emotional energy. You need to process that. But as you allow yourself to experience that negative energy, transmute it into a positive by saying, this is what I don't want. Here's where I'm going because I've experienced what I don't want. I don't want that anymore. I wrote down, I always write down these notes now. It's like I don't even use them anymore and I wanna keep these videos brief. So we're just gonna read through this. Are you aware enough to catch your negative thought patterns? Are you aware enough to catch your negative behaviors? Are you able to step out of an intensely emotional situation in the moment that you're experiencing that emotional situation and see the situation from a different perspective, i.e. the silver lining, i.e. transmute that negative heavy energy into something positive. Learn to check yourself. Are you slipping? Where do you need to course correct? What do I need to change in my life? What is it showing me that I need to learn? Use these circumstances, use these situations that you don't want to illuminate the situation and point you in the direction of what you do want, that you do want by self-examination, by self-reflection. The reality is, guys, you know what needs to be done. We all will slip up or fall back or make a mistake. That's just the part of life. This is a non-linear progression that we're on. It's not this line graph from point A to B on this beautiful little freaking line chart, line graph. That's not what it is. That thing goes up and down and backwards and it's just wild. It's all over the place. But if you constantly learn how to and practice this skill and power of being able to reframe negative situations after you've processed the emotions, the lessons of the situation, you will no longer be a victim of your life. You will always be in an empowered state. And when you have that bad day or these bad situations or a string of bad weeks or months or whatever it is, you'll be able to look at it from a higher perspective and glean the insights, the lessons that need to be learned and use those to fuel you to move forward towards the direction that you want. When you practice checking yourself, you learn to remain focused, aligned and on track with creating your vision. I bring this up because I recently, the past couple of days, really this past week, but uh, this past couple of days especially, I've noticed, I'm like, why am I not as sharp? Why do I not feel um, as inspired? Where am I disconnected? Where am I faulting? Where am I slipping? And I realized that a few of the practices that I have and have not been doing that I normally do, I can feel the difference in my energy. So I needed to check myself and be like, dude, you're doing too much of this. You're not doing enough of this. It's not about beating myself up and saying you're not good enough and all that. I'm like, no, no, no. These are the things that are creating that positive energy and momentum. This is what you need to focus on. Here are the things that you need to get out of your life that were detracting or holding you back from creating those circumstances. That's what I'm doing. So I, I put myself in check. You know, if I'm not in a good state, if I'm not feeling good, it means because I'm having bad thoughts. If I'm having bad thoughts, there's some kind of bad energy quote unquote, there's no such thing as good or bad. But anyways, you understand what I'm saying? And I'm like, well, I'm not in a good state. Well, what do I need to do to put myself in a good state? What is this crappy state te uh, teaching me? What situation is associated with this? What are my beliefs going on? What's going on behind the scenes here? So it's just a self-reflection, self-examination, and then retooling, transmuting that energy from self-reflection and the negative circumstances to point me in the direction of where I go. So as I was examining myself and reflecting about why I'm not as sharp, I was like, what do I need to cut out of my life? What have I started doing that's not serving me? What parts of me are starting to pop back up from the past that are holding me back? Because that's what was happening. So by learning to check yourself, you course correct, you stay on track, you stay focused. And again, it's all about connecting to that vision. I'm moving steadfastly in the direction of my dreams because I'm able to reflect and to check myself. So this is the power and this is the practice that if you learn to do this, and it takes time, it takes energy, it takes reflection. And a lot of people wanna change, they like the idea of change, of their life changing, but they don't wanna change themselves. I know this isn't you because you're watching this video, this channel is about transformation. This channel is about creating the life you want by changing who you are. And you will only change who you are when you become aware of who you've been, who you've been and who you've been being and the hats you've been wearing, whether fake or real, the ones that serve you or don't, you will only begin to change your life when you change yourself and you will only change your life and yourself 
when you first become aware of yourself and then you take responsibility for everything going on, especially the things that you don't wanna go on because whether you want like it or not, it's your life, so it's up to you. These things are not happening to you, they're happening for you. They're showing you where you need to grow, where you get to grow. It's your responsibility. The things that you deny in your life about who you've been or the feedback that you don't like or the stuff that really triggers you, that's the stuff you really get to look at because it's by denying that and not being responsible for that energy, for those behaviors, for the way you've been acting or being, it's by that denial that you'll never change because if it's not something you need to address and you're not willing to be responsible for it, well, you don't have power for it. It's like it just is what it is and you're out of control with that or it's, uh, it's out of your control. So transmute and transcend the negative energies by shifting a perspective. So you process it, you feel it, you allow it to hit because by allowing it to hit, that pain triggers the insights, the knowledge, the lessons from the situation and then reframe whatever's going on into a positive perspective in order to move it into the direction you want to be. That's the skill that I'm referring to. You know what needs to be done or not that shouldn't be being done. You know the answers. I don't need to tell you to brush your teeth. I don't need to tell you to eat fruits and vegetables. I don't need to tell you to make sure you exercise. I don't need to tell you to make sure you're getting seven to eight hours of sleep. I don't need to tell you to drink water. You actually know, and that's where the value is. When you check yourself, you can be honest with yourself, and then you can make a change only when you're honest with yourself. But this this is literally personal transformation, changing your life. It's just a practice that's day to day. A lot of people don't do it because it is a different way of thinking and shifting into. But the value is untold is the word that comes to my mind. Like you can't even really imagine the positive impact and benefit it's having on your life when you're able to transmute, transcend this negative energy and shift perspectives. So that's what we're doing here, guys. When you practice checking yourself, you remain focused, aligned, and on track to create your vision. It's an everyday practice. It's like brushing your teeth or showering. This is done every day, guys. The benefits are that you're grounded, you're centered, you're aware of your internal environment, and able to course correct when you're not on track. You're creating focus and momentum towards your goals when you do this by constantly self-reflecting, by checking yourself. It's hardest when you're returning from a vacation or a long break. So if you ever had like a vacation, you come back and it's, you know, you gotta go back to work. It's like, you know, you've been in vacation relax mode. You gotta gear up to get the momentum going. So it's hardest to check ourselves. Well, one, when we're in intensely emotional situations in the moment, we really get triggered. That's the time to really try to slow down, take some deep breaths, and especially after that intense situation, event, whatever it is, to take some time away from that energy to reflect and look at it from a different perspective, removed. So once you're removed from that emotional situation, then you can gain a different perspective. A couple of quotes for today. Aristotle, I've said this one before, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. So knowing yourself, being able to reflect on these things is everything because only by knowing yourself, reflecting and being responsible for what's been going on in your life, now you can change it. Self-examination is the key to insight, which is the key to wisdom. So self-examining, reflecting, learning these things, this is what is gonna take you to the next level. When you can learn to transmute and transcend negative energy and experiences and use that to fuel you to move forward, this is when you really become powerful and unstoppable. This is when you really start to step into your sovereignty and your focus. This is when you're really activating law of attraction and manifestation is taking place. You're using everything and every situation and relationship in your life as a tool to move you forward. Not a victim of, oh, this happened to me, but here as this is a difficult situation because there's a valuable lesson the universe is trying to teach me. That's what's happening with you. You're ascending, you're growing. So learn this skill and you really will become powerful on another level. Uh, the other one, I, I wrote down this, I guess it's a quote for me. Self-examination gives you the information you need in order to direct your discipline. So by examining yourself, putting yourself in check, this is what's showing you where your energy gets to go. Okay, I'm slacking on my workouts. I said I was gonna get in shape. 
and I, this is the goal that I set for myself. I'm really starting to see some progress, but these past two, three weeks, I've only gone to the gym two or three times a week instead of four or five, like I said. I'm starting to eat out a little bit more. I'm slipping back into my old ways. That's why you've got to learn to check yourself because when you're trying to go forward, your ego and people and other influenced energy, they're going to try to pull you backwards, especially your ego. It's going to start saying, oh, it's fine. You've been doing a great job. You could totally have an extra slice, uh, a couple slices of pizza today. But then that slices of pizza today turns into a burger and fries at lunch tomorrow and eating out for dinner. And then the day after that, you wake up and you just have a freaking donut and a coffee now. Now you're off track. Now you're losing momentum. You got to put yourself back in check. You gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. You're doing a great job, you're on the path. You're, it's natural, there's the important thing. Don't beat yourself up when you do slip because you're going to slip, that's how it happens. It's two step forwards, one step back, and then you go up here, and then you go over here, and then you go down here, and it's all over the place. But eventually, all those squiggly lines, as long as you check yourself and remain connected to your vision, all these places you're going all over the place, they are slowly guiding you towards that North Star, which is your vision. That's what we're doing here, guys. That is what I got for you today. So I love you so much and I appreciate you. We will see you again soon. Master that power of transmuting and transcending the negative energy and situations, putting yourself in check and using it to propel you forward. Peace and love. I'll see you.